Bro, go inside, go inside, go inside, protect it. Protect it, protect it, go inside. Oh, what is this? He's got a better run, he's got a better run! So whatever they're doing in this LO206 class, boy, it makes for some exciting race. So if you're watching at home, viewers, whether it's on Facebook Live or YouTube, thanks for joining us today here at Atlanta Motorsports Park for round six of the CART Championship Series. You should be in for a good one here. And I'm hoping that Saddington and Giglio will have a replay of what they did in their race earlier th today. Uh, John, I think I think we've been here, I think this is our third year here uh, doing this at Atlanta Motorsports Park, and we've seen so many of these drivers. Um, even though they're young drivers, we've watched them for three years now, and we've seen how their prowess on the racetrack has gotten better and better, and it's exciting to watch them now. As we get ready to come to green, they're bringing it off 17 down to the start zone. Let's see if we get a good green flag start from these drivers. Let's check out our green. Yeah, we got a green. We're underway. Let's check them out. As they go to turn number one. Looks like the driver that had the red valence on what we'll call the outside got the jump through turn number one. And we'll have to check numbers to see if that's Giglio or it's Saddington as we have them getting a little wide. So one car gets about a three cart length lead up the hill. And if I'm not mistaken, Saddington has a white helmet. Uh, but now I may be wrong. <laughs> we'll check them out as they go by next time. I believe that may be Nybert that's in the lead right now. I'm not sure about that. We'll find out that if it's going to be, be sad. That might be Giglio's colors. We will see once again his timing and scoring when they come around. So once again, LO206 Cadets. These are five and a half horsepower Briggs and Stratton four-stroke engines that they have. That gives them that low rumble compared to the sort of chainsaw wine that we'll get a little later today. These Cadets run the green slide, which just basically make, makes it so they can't use as much of the throttle as they'll use in the junior or the senior master classes. I believe that's Giglio. I think we are going to see him come by first. Giglio with that red and white fairing on the front of his cart. Giglio will come by. He will lead lap number one. Joseph Saddington in second spot. Oliver Nybert is in third in the 10 car. Then it's Lincoln Massey in the number seven, who is in fourth position as those two cars for second and third, or third and fourth, that is, battle very hard. Giglio, two seconds already today in pre-finals. He has to be brooding how he can find a little more speed because I don't think he wants to be the bridesmaid once again. Right now, he's in the spot he wants to be, first place in our cadet final. Yeah, Giglio leads this one right now. He's got a handy lead over Saddington at the moment. Of course, as we know, that can evaporate at any point. Giglio leads him up through the S's right now. He's heading up to turn 14. We're working lap number two of the 12 for our drivers in the LO206 cadet division. We need to get LO206 senior and, se uh, pardon me, senior and junior to the staging area. LO206, LO check that, tag senior and tag junior. We need to get you to the staging area. Looks like a battle for the lead with Saddington taking a dive to the inside. And that white helmeted driver is to the lead. So move Saddington to the point. Although at the line, Giglio was officially scored as the leader on lap, the third lap here. Saddington to the lead by, we'll call it a foot, over Giglio as they work through turn four. Luke has got to be saying, what the heck? I had this lead, I had it handily over Saddington, and now he finds himself right behind him in his tire tracks as they head to turn number nine. Luke Giglio tried to wrestle that lead back away from Joseph Saddington. On the last lap around turn nine, you could really see Giglio sawing at the wheel. You can note in comparison, Saddington does that set it and forget it. Arms very stable, which is the indication of a well-handling cart. When you see drivers sawing on the wheel, that means they're either tight or loose and they're having to make a bunch of corrections. It's better for the cart and better for the tires if the driver doesn't have to move their arms too much once they start turning. And there you can see that Saddington seems to have a smooth handle as he puts Lap number three on the board. John, you mentioned that earlier today. You normally don't see the hands of the drivers working that much. Occasionally in our area of racing, we'll see a topless race come along every once in a while when they'll cut the tops off of uh, full-bodied race cars, and you can actually see the drivers in their hand motions. But with these drivers, you see everything that's going on in the cockpit, and you do see that sawing of the hands, and especially saw that from Giglio. Right now, Giglio works up on the back of Saddington as they head down into turn number nine, it's Giglio trying to get that lead once again, but Saddington 
brings it cleanly through that and up the S's. So Joseph Saddington hangs on to the top spot. And again, you could see Giglio having to work on that wheel. Charles, it's in the sprint cars and midgets where you can really see drivers working more inside the cabin because you can see in the side, the left side at least. And you can see Giglio having to saw away at that wheel. And once again, maybe something just off a little bit in the handle. And for now, Saddington opens up just a bit of daylight. And then it's a gap back to Nybert, who is in third place. And as they come across the line, just two tenths of a second between our top two. And then it's four and a half seconds back to third. Yeah, and Massey just a little bit behind them. So not much going on between uh, Nybert and Massey. They've got quite a distance between them. And, of course, it's a ways back from Giglio back to Nybert also. But those two drivers out front go through the kink down there, the fastest part of the racetrack. They have to break hard going into nine. There you see Giglio right up on the back bumper of Saddington, and they've got a slower car they've got to contend with as they come through the S's. Looks like that might be Kyle Farrell as both our drivers sweep by Farrell. So Farrell will go a lap down. Saddington continues to lead. We're going to go 12 laps here, so we get a couple of bonus laps from what we had this more, or the, earlier today. And once again, it just seems like Second verse, same as the first. Giglio still chasing after Saddington. Giglio right in Saddington's tire tracks. They bring it off 17. They head down to start finish. Will be five laps this time by. It'll be cross, cross flags next time around. Giglio took a quick look. Did you see that? He took a quick look to the inside of Saddington. Cannot make the move. Now he tries to cut back in, but that is not a good passing spot as you try to go up off turn two. In the pre-final, Saddington was... In the bridesmaid spot, much of the race, but was able to make a late pass, really off the last corner to get by Giglio. Now we see Giglio, at least right now, content just to push Saddington down to turn nine. You have to wonder, as the laps wind down and the tension ratchets upward, I think we're going to start to see Giglio not just push. He's going to look to push past. And, John, at that time, as they went into turn nine, I almost got the impression that Giglio wanted to maybe take a little shot and go to the inside, and he decided the last minute not to and pull back in single file. So it's possible he's trying to set that up for a late lap pass. Well, and also drivers can get penalties if they absolutely just go into a corner and just dive bomb someone or take someone out. So you have to figure out how to get by clean. These LO206s are very equal carts, and we've seen it in all three of the divisions and once again, we're seeing it here in this final. Giglio right in the tire tracks of Saddington up the hill. And they both seem to go on those rumble strips about the same amount as they work their way off turn three and then into four. They hit those rumble strips exactly in the same spot. This is where Giglio tries to look to the inside. That's he a comes bump up. It's draft. a bump draft. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he pops Saddington that time as they come out of turn number eight. They go into nine. It's still Saddington. Your leader with Giglio right behind him, still in the tire tracks. you got to think at some point Giglio is going to try to make a move. Boy, I, I, I wish we had access to Giglio's GoPro live here to see these two go at it. It's once again Giglio's right to the rear bumper of Saddington down into 16, and then a little bit of daylight opens. So Giglio has to be mentally going through his list of notes. What can he do to get by Saddington? As seven are on the board, only five more to go. He would not want to mount that GoPro on the front of the cart because it might be non-existent at this <laughs> point because I do believe there's been some contact there. But anyway, you saw Saddington take a quick look behind him, say, Luke, where are you, son? And he's close. So they close in once again. A little bit of distance between them now. Two cart links separate them as they go down into the kink. This is where Giglio has been trying to work up on Saddington. Giglio has the speed down there. Once again, you saw Saddington take a quick look back to see how far behind he was. Uh, Giglio is probably wishing he had that drag reduction system like they do in Formula <laughs> One to get a boost to get by him. Saddington, you can see he has a GoPro mounted right up on that front nose cone, just sort of where his hands would be on the steering wheel. Just forward of that, you can see a little black spot. Giglio, we can't quite see it, but boy, those two are going at it again. Giglio running out of time here, but for now, you can see Saddington taking that quick peek back. Where are you, Luke? And for now, the closest of margins, just about a tenth of a second. Now John, you and I have both seen chain races where you have two or three race cars chained together. Uh, it almost looks like that's what we got going on right now. It looks like there's a tow bar hooking those two guys together on some parts of this racetrack. 
They're going strong. There's four laps to go in this one, maybe three and a half laps at this point. There's oh, look long. at Giglio. Comes up, bumps Saddington once again. They go into nine. Is he trying to loosen him up? What's he trying to do? He's right there behind Saddington as they come off nine. Bump and run coverage. Oh, now back straightaway as we Giglio. see Giglio move to the lead as Saddington swings wide. So maybe Saddington was hearing some footsteps that time. So moves Giglio to the point, but now Saddington is right there as they're going down into turn 15. Man, Joseph Saddington working on Giglio right now. They are right together. They go into turn 16. Giglio will come out of this. Well, I say he's going to be the leader. Let's see if he comes by as the leader. Yes, he will. Uh, last time I said that, Saddington sneaked by him right before they got to the flag. But right now, it's Giglio. They got a slow cart. They got to work that's, around. That's Reuben Greer. You'll note from the highlight package earlier, Greer was the 20 that really made hard impact into the car that was spun on the initial start. So it's good to see Greer back out there. That car had a lot of damage, I can imagine. So it's good to see some repairs affected as our leaders are coming up on, I believe that's Ryan DeHoney, and they slide to the inside. So now Giglio leads, Saddington in second with less than three laps to go. You can see Giglio sawing on the wheel to get through turn nine. Saddington right in his tire tracks. Now Saddington has to try to make Giglio hear some footsteps behind him as they head up to 14. Saddington is so smooth. You have not seen him saw on the wheel like you have Giglio all day long. But it's still Giglio in the lead right now. They go into turn number 16. It's Giglio and Saddington heading out of 17. And we are coming to two laps to go right now. So in the waning laps here, what does Saddington have to do to get by Luke Giglio? Luke's been second twice today, and you just know in his heart he doesn't want to make it a third time. So Giglio bobs up the hill to get a little more momentum as they head over the crest of three and through turn four. And that may be Giglio's biggest lead of the day, about three cart lengths as they sweep through the kink. Wow, it's Giglio up front. Saddington trying to chase him down. Now we've got a lap and a half to go. So uh, Saddington has done it before. He's gotten by Giglio earlier today. Can that happen here at the end? Well, of course it can. But let's see what Giglio has to say about this. They head up the hill. Giglio looking back to see where Saddington is. Saddington, he doesn't have to look very far. Saddington is right there as they sweep through 13 and 14. Ooh. Normally, turn nine is the best passing on the track, but for these guys, 16 and 17 has also been a spot, and that's where they're going to go one more time. Now, this at this point, they will put 11 on the board and see that white flag. 17 turns left to decide our first final today. And, John, it's been exciting because we've seen passes happen between 17 and the checkered flag today. So even in that straightaway area down there, sometimes that drag race ensues and somebody else comes up with the win after they led coming off 17. Gilio they might have gotten a little squirrely off four, so... Saddington might have a run down the back straightaway as Giglio plays defense down the inside of the back straightaway. Yeah, he's looking to the inside. Saddington goes high. Here they come. Final time through turn number nine. Giglio, is he going to saw on the Cro wheel? Yes, crossover. he is. Saddington oh. coming to the inside. Oh, my. Joseph Saddington has taken that spot away from Luke Giglio. They come up into 14. Giglio played defense, and that set him up for the crossover. But here comes Giglio down oh. to the inside of 14. Slices in front of Saddington. Two Two more turns to go. Who's going to win it? Take us home, Charles. Wow, it's going to be a fantastic finish. Giglio Saddington goes to the inside. Who's it going to be at the line? It's going to be a photo of Saddington oh. with the win. My, oh, my, what a finish as Joseph Saddington comes back once again and beats Luke Giglio at the line. Oh, gracious, what a win it was for Joseph Saddington. What an outstanding last lap, John. My goodness. Well, Giglio looked a little squirrely off four. You could see the run that Saddington got, and then Giglio, for the first time in the race, played defense on the inside of turn nine. Well, by playing defense, it made him go wide on the corner, and Saddington seized that opening and went. You know, he got back in front. Giglio takes the lead once more, but Saddington is able to pull to the front coming through turn 17. So a few uh, swappings of the lead there just on the final lap. Look at the faces of these little kids. Look how teeny they are. Man, they're out there putting on adult action competition and racing hard. And you look at them and they're just wee little guys. Man, what a great race between those two. Can't say it enough. That was one of the best races of the day. And hopefully they'll even get better as we go. 
Let's check it out now. We're going to see this action. Look at this. That's it, the final lap where you see Giglio shield to the inside of nine, but then he slides wide through the middle, and there comes Saddington to take the lead, at least for the moment, as they go through the S's, but only by the smallest of margins. Now we see them up through 12. Your Giglio had gotten, or excuse me, that's Saddington. Now we see Giglio get a huge run off of 12, and he, no hold bar, just does one of those send it moves up the inside. And Charles, at this point, I thought Giglio had it set. He slid in front, but it was off that last corner that Saddington was able to find one last reserve, bit of reserves to get to the checkered flag first. Wow, what a last lap. What a last three or four turns in that one for these guys. As Saddington gets the win, Giglio in second position, just an outstanding race. You know, you wish you could put them both on the top of the podium because that's such a good I, race I and such see, a good finish. I want to see 10 more laps out of those kids. Yeah, so yeah. Put on a show. All right, <laughs> next group rolling on track are tag seniors. You're going to see the speed pick up a notch as we're seeing those two-stroke engines, water 